Sudarshan Jain, Senior Advisor, Apex Partners, now joins in to talk a little bit more about that. Good to have you on board. And yes, indeed, Sudarshan, as you heard out my colleague Pankaj talking about the severe underperformance that we've seen within the pharma space as a whole, uh, you know, and it's across the board. It's not isolated to the large names. Uh, it's uh, within the mid-cap arena as well. Can you give us an overview as to what you're thinking is happening with the pharma stocks in India? Why is there so much of an underperformance? Uh, good morning to you. Uh, it is great speaking to you. We have just uh, released the report uh, which has been done in collaboration with McKenzie and thought leaders in the country. Uh, what we have been saying is, yes, in the short run, in the past, the uh, sector has performed uh, lower and it has been recording 7 to 8 percent growth uh, and that has an impact on the sector. Uh, primarily, the reasons may be price instability in the Indian market, uh, the FDC, the formalization of economy with GST, and the U.S. pressures, pricing pressures, that has led to the underperformance of this sector over the years. But that is past. In the future point of view, what we are saying, and we have done a lot of research work, that this sector can blow 10 to 11 percent. 11 to 12 percent this sector will record double digit growth and we have got competitive advantage in this sector given the strong manufacturing base which we have in this sector we have got strong entrepreneurial spirit in this sector and we have got the advantage of great globalization in this sector what we are saying that the growth can move up from 7 to 8 percent which is there to 11 to 12 percent and the reasons are fourfold first is there is a significant opportunity of opening up this market. India is an underleveraged market. Uh, say India is the diabetes capital of the world. There is high incidence of thyroid disease. There is high incidence of chronic area. But these are not diagnosed well at this particular moment. With Aishman Bharat and also the plans of the government to set up 160,000 clinics across the, across the country, this market should open up and we should be able to provide better healthcare to our patients in this country. So Ayushman Bharat and the efforts taken by many of the companies in this sector should open up the market. And we expect the Indian market to grow to around 11 to 12 percent. That's a big opportunity area. Second area which we see that India at the moment is represented in around 200 countries, but our presence in different markets of the world is at different levels. We are having relatively lower share in China and Japan, which are the big markets. And I think going forward, we will have opportunity to open up this market and have larger presence in this market, besides strengthening our presence in the US market. That's a big opportunity area. Third area where we see a lot of opportunity happening up is uh, there are patents which are going out of $250 billion drugs across the world and India with its advantage in manufacturing base should be able to cash on this opportunity. There is opportunity in bisimilar areas where we have got the largest number of drugs but if I which may, are Mr. approved Jen, in you're India, talking a lot about right, right, Mr. Jen, you know, you've highlighted a number of concerns as well that we've been talking about. But what do you believe is the most pressing of them all? What is the biggest challenge for the pharma companies at the current juncture? Uh, so the biggest challenge I will see is the consistent government policy and the regulatory environment. And uh, we have been having discussion with the government and we see the pricing environment and the regulatory environment. Once that support is available, this sector will open up. Uh, I see a lot of opportunity because there is a demand in this sector. We have got competitive advantage and this should open up in times to come. Sure. Mr. Jain, um do you think uh, that if you see uh, sorry you wanted yeah S sorry you were saying something yeah pardon me I, i'm not sure if i interrupted um i'll allow you to complete that point of course but do you also think the indian branded business of select pharma companies you know are still attractive they'll continue to to lead with new launches i mean where, you know what's the kind of outlook that you're sensing is the worst over or is it still too soon to tell 
I say Indian market offers tremendous opportunity. Even if you see the current IMS figures, IQVR figures, and AVEX figures, we are recording double-digit growth. Which sector of the Indian economy continue to record double-digit growth? So Indian market will continue to offer opportunity in terms of uh, better penetration of the medicine towards under-leveraged sections of the society, better emphasis on chronic care, new product launches which are taking place. So the better reach of the medicine itself should help up to open the market. And whatever work which we have done, this market in India will continue to record uh, 11 to 12 percent growth as far as domestic market is concerned. So as far as domestic market is concerned, uh, it is a supply-led market instead of demand-led market. Uh, the, what I mean by that, the more we strengthen the healthcare infrastructure in this country and if we increase, start increasing our healthcare expenditure of GDP in terms of creating capability of doctors, uh, capability of paramedical people, capability of uh, opening up uh, wellness centers which we are planning to do, this market is bound to open up in times to come because still the reach of the medicine is relatively low and with the increase in per capita income, increase in education and government investment, the domestic market will continue to show promising growth. So that is as far as domestic market is concerned. The second part is globalization and India has got tremendous advantage in globalization. Which other industry we supply our product to more than 200 countries around the world? Which, in which industry where we are proud of the fact that every third tablet today is sold from India in US, every fourth tablet in UK is sold from India? So we have made penetration in advanced market of the world. So there is a scope for increased globalization. Yes, we had sub turbulence in the market in the last few years, but according to me, going forward, India has got tremendous competitive advantage as far as pharma industry is concerned. And that is the outcome of the report. If you look at the report, we are talking, we have, we have acknowledged the fact, yes, these are the challenges, but there are opportunities. And we have also laid down the steps that if we do these seven things, one is the universal access of healthcare in India, a focus on innovation, focus on globalization, focus on quality control, and focus on API, where we have got disadvantage compared to China. Uh, and if we take these six, seven steps, uh, the market will open up and there is possibility to show the growth and upgrade the market growth from 7 to 8% to 11 to 12%. Question, but help us understand. So you've talked about various opportunities and avenues that the sector may actually be open for. But do you expect the current large pharmaceutical and healthcare companies to take benefit of that? Or do you think uh, these avenues would also lead to opening up of a newer segment of companies altogether and some of these emerging companies would actually derive benefit out of that? I will say the large companies, they have got the advantage of great learnings over the years. Uh, they've got large size field force in the country. They have got understanding of the Indian market. So the large companies will continue to perform well. And also there is a tremendous advantage of entrepreneurial spirits. So there is, there may be new companies which may be also emerging. Uh, more from an environment point of view is this is the industry where we have got competitive advantage. This is the industry where we have made tremendous headway. And if uh, the government, the regulators, the industry and the patient groups work together, we can make big headway as far as the pharma industry is concerned. Uh, in this industry, patient is the center of everything what we do. And we have been supplier of affordable medicine across the world. So as far as this, and that's why the reason of coming out with this report that this industry offers significant opportunity and what we need to do is the regulators, the industry, the government needs to work together to unleash the potential of this industry. Okay, um, so what's the road ahead then um, in terms of what you'd see the outlook for Indian companies in the US markets because that's where a lot of the concerns as well are emanating from. Do you think that the worst of the US pricing pressure is now behind us? It's very difficult to say that uh, worst is over, but uh, like say, yes, for last two, three years, we had price decline of around 8 to 10%. Uh, what I believe in is beside US, 
yes we will continue to focus the indian companies will continue to focus on us market but there is an opportunity in the markets like china the markets like japan the markets like latin america and even the europe uh, some of the companies have been doing very well in europe uh, so there is a significant opportunity to open up in other geographies us has has an impact on the overall performance in last two to three years, what you have been talking, the performance of the companies in the market. Uh, however, if you see from a long-term point of view, and that is what we are saying in our report, that we need to open up other geographies and we have to upgrade our product range to capitalize on the opportunity. We see also uh, from medium to short run and medium to long run is Indian companies playing an innovation game. Uh, we are saying, that Indian companies should increase the thrust on the discovery part of the research and we see over a period of time new molecules coming from India. That will again be an opportunity. And Indian companies, some of the large Indian companies are committed to the innovation part of the pharmaceutical industry. How will Indian yes, pharma I'm needs... sounding uh, optimistic. Sure. Go ahead, please. Uh, yes, I am sounding optimistic. Uh, this is based on my experience in this industry over 40 years and also the kind of work which we have done. Uh, we wanted to go into details of uh, uh, the insights of the industry and that's why McKinsey and all the top thought leaders, we have come out with this report and what we are saying is yes, 7 to 8 percent growth at this moment, but it can be upgraded to 11 to 12 percent and Indian market will continue to offer tremendous opportunity. Okay, thank you so much for joining in, Mr. Jain, giving us an overview as to what's going on within the pharma space as well as the road ahead. And yes, indeed, the numbers really speak for themselves.